a step-by-step -step how to do the Gorilla Clean with kettlebells. The Gorilla Clean is one of my favorite exercises to program for intervals, like EMOMs and other type of intervals. It really gets the heart rate up very quickly. It's a full body exercise, but it's not a simple exercise. So it's quite easy to get injured with this exercise if you don't take the right progressions. So today I'm going to show you step by step how to learn this magnificent exercise. You should start with simple hang lifts. I will demonstrate one kettlebell. So the Gorilla Cleans are always with two kettlebells. But we're going to start with one kettlebell. Assume a squat stance, your squat stance, neutral. So I call this a hybrid stance. It's between neutral, sumo, so it's hybrid. The bell is in between, right underneath me. I'm going to squat. Break at the ankles, knees, hips, look ahead, push the hips down. Deadlift the weight up with a squat movement. Then I'm going to start with a hang lift with a squat movement. So you're coming into a hang and you're lifting the weight up. So it's not a deadlift because the weight is not dead. The weight is hanging, hang, lift. The elbow remains extended the whole time. And the shoulder remains pulled up. So not forward like this, pulled up. Down as far as you can. So make sure that those uh, feet remain flat on the ground as you do this. You need to have good ankle flexibility to do this exercise. It's important that the shoulders stay high and the hips come low and you're breaking at the ankles. You do 10 of those on one side, 10 on the other. Do not progress to the next step until you've got this down and you should film side on, front on, and you should review that yourself to see whether your back remains straight throughout this exercise and your knees are coming forward and your hips are going low. This is incorrect. Right here, my back is rounded. Here is good. This is a hip hinge. It puts all the load on the lower back and it's definitely not gonna work for this exercise, especially since you need to rack one kettlebell while the other one drops down into a hang. So step number one, hang lifts. Keep looking ahead. The moment you start looking down, the shoulders will follow. Make sure that the knees are coming forward and the knees are coming out. No buckling in. Those are the main keys for your first progression. There's a lot more to it, but those are things I'll cover in a certification or a course or a book, which you can check out on our website, by the way. Okay, so once you have assessed yourself and you're good with a hang lift, then the next step is to go into a hang clean. A hang clean is an explosive dynamic movement of what you just did before. I'll demonstrate. End up in a good hand insert, good racking position. Drop, hang, clean. Other side. Down. 
start with a light weight. Don't let your ego get the better of you. There's no need to go with heavier weights straight away. Now, on that note, it's also important to get weight behind that clean. If you're starting with a light weight, then you're just not getting that resistance. But the first thing you need to do is make sure that all your form and technique is correct. Then you go up with the weight. Get that form right, then go up with the weight. Here's what's happening with the hand clean. Hook grip is very important. If you don't know about hook grip, download the free PDF, Master Kettlebell Grips. Just type it in Google or um, DuckDuckGo and just type Master Kettlebell Grips Caveman Training PDF. You will find the link, you add it to your basket, download the file. It's password protected because the content is very valuable. We don't want to distribute it all over the internet. So, hook grip. I'm going to come down to a hang and come straight up. With your hang clean, don't wait at the bottom here and then come up to clean it. You're losing that dynamic property, the plyometrics of going down and up. So down, up, pull it up. Pull it up with your legs. So here is a muscle clean. That's biceps. It's a muscle clean. It's not what you're supposed to do with a clean. A clean is lower body powered. So pull it up. Think about pulling it to the ceiling. Nice and powerful. That belt goes up. You release. Open your hand. Catch the weight. Good rack. Elbow under the weight. No disconnect here. That's another thing. Racking is super important. That's another free PDF that we have online. Super important information. Lots of pages. All free. Same thing, type in Master Kettlebell Racking Caveman Training. You'll get to the PDF, add it to your basket, check out, download the file to your computer. It's password protected with your email address. Okay, so hang clean. Work with sets of 10 or 5, whatever feels good. Don't uh, fatigue one side. Don't fatigue your grip either. Hang clean. Once you are ready to progress to the next step, then it's a switch hang clean, which is like this. Don't speed this up to where you're slaughtering the exercise, which looks like this. Don't. Get it right. There is no need to speed it up until you've invested time into getting everything right. Racking, grip, hang, pass, Pulling it up, opening up, catching, good rack. After that, you add speed. So, the drop, let's talk about the drop. Very important. It's a hang, it's not a swing, it's not a back swing. So, the most common mistake I see is where people cast the weight out and then pull it up, out, and then pull it up. It's not a bad thing, but that turns more into a squat swing. <sighs> squat, swing, clean, which is not what we want. You want that weight to go down, directly down and directly up. So what I'm doing is I'm not casting it, 
I'm just letting it drop naturally. And this elbow moves back, back, let it drop, let it fall, pull out, hook grip, hang, clean. Elbow back, keep this weight close to me. Now I'm obviously doing this in slow-mo, but fast, it goes like this. Slow, it goes like this. If you are really into technique and safety and really progressing step by step, then I recommend you actually start with an assisted clean, assisted hand clean. It's like this. Most people don't want to take that step because they want to get straight in, but I feel like mentioning it, and it's up to you whether you put this in. Here's what, how it helps. It helps to guide the belt down correctly and up to open up for a hand insert. Why a hand insert? Because this is a broken wrist grip. It doesn't uh, sit well in your racking. It's not good for pressing, if you're going to do presses in your kettlebell training, etc. So this is a good hand insert, good grip. So look at the assisted hand clean. And from there move on to unassisted, from there you move on to switching hand cleans. Okay, once you've got all that, then it's time to work with two kettlebells. Two kettlebells is a completely different beast. If you are not able to clean kettlebells yet, uh, two kettlebells, that's something that you need to work on first. I'll quickly um, cover a little bit of information about that. But if you really want to dive deep into kettlebell cleans, check out the book, Master the Kettlebell Clean. It's on Amazon or on capemantraining.com forward slash shop. There's also a course, online course, comes with videos. There's also certification if you want to get certified in kettlebell cleans. Now, trust me, there's not just the swing clean or the hang clean or the dead clean. There's over 70 variations of the clean that we put together in one book. It's amazing. And you can use all of those in your training to mix it up. Or if you're a personal trainer, you can make uh, training exciting. But there's also different goals, like a, a suitcase clean really works on your obliques and your core, etc. There's so many more cleans that are covered. Check it out. So just quickly, double bell clean space between me and the bells bells are together here's what i'm going to do i'm going to pull the weight back hip hinge and arms are connected then i'm going to push the hips forward the bells come up open up insert rack that's another step that you would uh, program into learning the gorilla cleans because it's obviously very important to get those weights up here we go, hook grips, back swing, clean, open up, insert. So I open up and insert out here and land into racking. Your next step in your progression is doing a hand clean while you're racking one kettlebell. So I'm just gonna start with my right side. I'm gonna drop it into a hand clean and back into racking. Other side. Drop back to the ground. 
All these things look very simple, like the drop back to the ground, how to protect your fingers with double bells, but there's an art to it and some of it is covered in the free PDFs and some of it is covered in the book. Make sure you check that out. So, right now we know that we can clean two bells, keep one racked and drop the other one into a hang clean. The key here is to stay upright. As you're moving down and you have weight here, the tendency is to get that weight falling forward or coming into a hip hinge. Then your Gorilla Clean is not going to work at all and you're going to get injured. So do not move past this point unless you can come into a hang while this side stays racked and nicely tucked into your body. <sighs> At least for the first part while you're up. It obviously disconnects as the hips come down, but that arm still remains vertical. This is super important. Do not move past that point. Now, a great way to build up some strength for that is obviously double bell clean and squat. That would be a way to build up strength for this. Okay? Again, do not move on unless you're able to hold one rack and hang clean the other one up without muscling it up. So one of the things that we also see is when there's weight here, people don't go down deep enough because when they do and they don't have the flexibility or the strength, uh, that belt just falls, falls forward so they don't go down deep and then they'll start muscling this up. Again, it's not a, an upper body exercise. Of course, it works the upper body, but it's not powered by the upper body. So, because the weight is here, there's a lot of work done by your back. So, it does work the upper body, but this is the part that powers the movement, your legs. Okay. Once you've got all that, then it's time to go to the next step. And that's just slow, alternating hand cleans. So alternating here, you're already doing gorilla cleans because right, left equals one gorilla clean. But proper gorilla cleans are nice and fast. What's really happening is as you're here and you're pulling this one up, this one's already dropping. So when you take this progression, you're not dropping that weight yet as this one comes up. You're going to take it step by step. So here I'll demonstrate. Clean. Hang clean. Hang clean. So that was a little pause in there. Hang clean, pause here, hang clean, and pause here. That's what you want as your next progression. Once you have that perfect, and again, you should film yourself, assess yourself, look side on, front on, and if your uh, form is correct, then it's time to move on to the real thing. Let's move on to the full Gorilla Clean. Here we go. Clean. Ready and go. That really raises the heart rate really quickly. Okay, another thing to talk about is this internal shoulder rotation, also important here. You're able to go deeper 
and less resistance. If you're holding it here, there's going to be more resistance and uh, less depth. That's all I'm going to say right now for the Gorilla Clean progression. That's a lot of information already. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure that you uh, come and join us in our groups, Kettlebell Training on Facebook. We got over 16,000 people there. Kettlebell Workout, over 17,000 people. We're also on Reddit as Kettlebell underscore training. That's another group. Make sure you come and join us there. We're on, uh, we're on Corda. We got a group there as well. Join us there. Instagram, Real Caveman Training. And uh, of course, check out the website www.cavementraining.com and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like the tutorial and you've learned something for, from it, make sure that you help uh, share and uh, leave a comment. Also uh, in the group, if you join the group, say hello or even post your video up uh, together with a link to this video, of course, so that other people can see too, you know. Help out by sharing the knowledge just like we do and uh, hope to see you soon. See you later.